Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Amanda and I'm a 29 year old living in the San Francisco Bay Area and I like reviewing products and experiences. Today I am reviewing and trying on two products from Girlfriend Collective. The items that I am reviewing during today's haul is the Paloma sports bra, which is one of the popular sports bras that they have. And then I'm also reviewing and trying on the new half zip fleece that they just released recently so before i get started don't forget to follow me on social media for notifications on when my review videos go up and as usual i'm going to be talking a little bit about these products and then going into the pros and cons and also showing you what they look like on me so let's go ahead and begin let's start off with the paloma bra this is mainly a sports bra and as you can see it's got thick straps and then a racer back back i don't really know how to describe that um it's also in the moss color which is a really beautiful green color i really love the color it's almost like a dark jade color i actually decided to size up for this bra so typically based on the sizing chart like my chest size is like a 32 so i would typically order size extra small for any of my tops but for sports bras i like them to be a little bit more loose fitting so i decided to size up and get this in a size small so this paloma bra is meant to provide you with enough support to do like medium impact workouts it's made of around 80 percent recycled water bottles and 20 percent spandex and my first impression is that it's pretty thick material it does feel pretty supportive and also a little bit stretchy but not too much there is also like this thick band at the bottom and it kind of reminds me of like a gymshark type of band but just a very thick ba band at the bottom to help keep everything in place and it also covers a little bit more than regular sports bras i feel like sports bras are a little bit shorter but this one looks like it goes a little further down so moving on to the fit and the pros and cons i feel like I like the supportive straps. I feel like they are thick enough and I kind of like that it goes lower so it's kind of more like you can wear it as like a crop top on its own and it also provides a lot of support. So moving on to the cons, there's definitely a lot of extra room at the bottom closer to the bottom band. There is so much extra space there and it just doesn't hug my body as tightly as I thought it would and um, it's not really meant to form to your body and stretch there isn't as much give and so it just leaves me with some awkward space at the bottom near the seam and it's also pretty tight along the chest for my 32 inch bust um, even the size small is tight on me and it feels very restricted and I don't really feel as comfortable in this. It's just kind of tight and there just isn't too much give, which I think is supposed to help provide support, but at the same time, it's just not as comfortable. It's just too tight on me. And so I would definitely recommend sizing up maybe a size or two, but for me, this sports bra just didn't really work out. Honestly, I was considering folding in the bottom seam and folding along that band at the bottom because that would get rid of the awkward space at the bottom of the bra. But honestly, like the chest is just too restricted for me and it's too tight that it's just not very comfortable. So I'm going to have to return this one, unfortunately. Moving on to the half zip fleece. This was just recently released and this is in the color Moon. I purchased this in the extra small because it was supposed to have like an oversized fit as is. Um, it's supposed to be like a boxy cropped fit. So as you can see, it's pretty boxy and it is a little bit cropped. It also has a kangaroo pocket with zippers on the side, which is really great. So both of these pockets meet up in the middle and you can zip it up if you'd like to store things in there without worrying that they are going to fall out. I feel like the color online is a little bit deceiving because it looks a lot darker in the product photos, but up close, it's definitely like a regular medium gray, not like a dark gray. Um, so yeah, just wanted to point that out. It also has like the half zip, of course, at the top. And yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. It's made of 90% recycled water bottles and then 10% spandex. It's fleece on both the outside and the inside, which helps 
keep it super warm. The only place there isn't fleece is inside the pocket. Um, on the back side of the pocket closest to you, it's fleece, and then on the front side of the pocket closer to in front of you, it's like kind of like a polyester spandexy type of material. So this is like the only place where there is no fleece at the front of the pocket. Um, but everywhere else is fleece. There are measurements on the product page, so I'll link the product pages for both of these items in the description box below so you can measure it out. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and try this on. As you can see, it is an oversized, a little bit baggy look. I am pretty petite at five feet tall, so typically tops are too long on me. So this crop fit actually works for me pretty well. It almost comes close to like a regular sized top um, but as you can see the sleeves are just a little bit too long but that is normal for me because uh, sleeves are typically too long for me anyway unless they're petite sized it is super comfortable i love the fleece it is so warm and it's just so cozy and comfy for staying at home and quarantining so I could totally imagine myself wearing this every day. While I do appreciate the cropped fit because it fits me better and is not as oversized, it doesn't do a great job at hiding like tops underneath. So if I'm wearing a long sleeve underneath, typically it's longer than the cropped length. So unfortunately, sometimes it'll like peek out the whole time or some of the time, most of the time. So. Keep that in mind. I honestly don't know what to wear underneath this, although I can just tuck my shirts into my pants, but I think this is perfect for wearing like high-waisted leggings with or high-waisted pants. I kind of wish it was just like an inch longer, but it's okay, it's not a deal breaker. I honestly think it's just so comfortable that I will still be wearing it all the time and I'm stuck at home anyway, so it doesn't really matter what I'm wearing underneath. But just keep that in mind in case you are like me and don't own a ton of cropped tops to wear underneath. Also on the half zip fleece, I noticed that if the half zip at the front near the chest is all the way down, it's a little bit hard to zip up. It's just like when it's at the very bottom of the zipper, it's kind of sticky and is harder to pull up. One other thing that I noticed about this fleece is that if you put something in the pockets, the inner part of the fleece kind of shows. And also that happens when I put my hands in the pockets as well. It can be a little bit awkward if it peeks from underneath, but it's not a huge deal. Other than that, I can totally see myself grabbing this fleece like all the time. It's just so comfy and I love that it is fleece inside and out. Overall, these are both great options to go with if you are looking to be a little bit more conscious about your purchases and looking for better purchases that are good for the environment. If you're interested in Girlfriend Collective, I'll leave the link in the description box below. If this video helped you, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more video reviews like this. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.